What's up guys, Lou here from Unbox Therapy. Of course it's Unbox Therapy! What the hell was that? What else would you be watching? What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today it's it's something a little bit different. There is no box in front of me. That makes me very uncomfortable. I have the new Surface Pro 4 because Microsoft sent it out to me. They said, hey, we want you to talk about Office. Microsoft Office, I was like, Office? What do you mean? Everybody knows about Office. You got Word, you got Excel. What else you got, Jack? PowerPoint. You got all these different things in there that many people know and love, but they've changed a little bit. This device is kind of a unique hybrid type situation. A keyboard and a trackpad, but also this tablet. And you can yank this off and then look, oh, it becomes a tablet. Like some other stuff on the market right now, a pen. Compared to some of that other stuff, you know what I'm talking about. This one has a place to go. It can just, look at this. Let's, let's try this out right here. Here we go. Oh! It doesn't only have to attach to one side either. You see how much fun I'm having here. Maybe you're left-handed. Boom. You've also got forward-facing speakers, something that is surprisingly rare on tablets, located up at the top here, so when you're holding it, they are shooting at your eardrums. A bunch of cool accessories like this keyboard and trackpad here, which turns it into almost like a, a laptop situation. And you can see there, that connects via magnets too. It's a, it's a whole magnet extravaganza here. Pretty decent tactile feedback here. Oh yeah. Around the device, you'll notice a USB port here. So peripherals are welcome. We've also got video out. This is a fairly unique power port that's on here as well. Hold the charger up to it, clips in. And on the other side, we have a headphone jack. The volume rocker lives right here and the power switch is in that location right there. The cover is a kind of soft microfiber type material. As you can tell, I don't mind touching it. Jack, give it a touch. But anyway, this isn't the reason that Microsoft asked me to make this video. It's actually not about the Surface 4. It is instead about the magical world of Microsoft Office, specifically 365. You can collaborate on various documents. It's not tied down to a specific device or a specific piece of hardware. Maybe you're on your desktop at work or maybe you're on your laptop and those files remain available to you via both the web or the native app, which is actually on your device. You know, maybe you're like Jack and you're, and you're typing out a recipe. Grandma's old chili. You gotta get tomatoes in there. You gotta get the, uh, the kidney beans in there. He's gonna get it down in Microsoft Word. And then his friends, only his best friends, will be invited to that document. Grandma's old recipe for chili shared with friends. Are we off the rails? I hope so. In front of me, I have Word open and I have a template there, which is the beginnings of a resume for yours truly. I go over here, I go new. Now you're gonna see featured templates, they're loading up. I mean, there's a variety of them to choose from here. Maybe you like to kick it old school and you like to start out blank. That's where I start when I'm writing rap lyrics. Head bobbing, lyrics flowing. Now if I start typing something like, this is Lou from Unbox Therapy. Need your gadget unboxed? Question mark? Who wouldn't sign up for something like that? <laughs> Jack, on the other hand, on his screen, you, you may not have known, but he's collaborating with me here. And if you look over in the side pane there, you'll see that I'm editing in real time and Jack is also editing in real time. Say something to the people, Jack. Updates are available, save your document to refresh. It looks like Jack is using my, my cover letter as a place to store his grandma's recipe. So as you can see here too, 29 ounce cans of tomato sauce, some diced onion, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. See, that's news to me. But it also happens at the same time online. If I launch my browser, you'll see it'll be the same. So you see, you're prompted here when they go ahead and open the document in Word. You can either continue working online or you can go over to the local app. Now, the reason there are two Jack McCanns over in the little pane there is because Jack McCann is editing online as well as locally. That's the whole agenda here. Let people into your document, let people into your life. One of the cool functions 
that's new to me is something called tell me. Well, here are some suggestions. Leave a comment, change how the table looks, edit a header. If I said insert picture, oh, really? And I can do an image search right from there or I can insert from Facebook. Okay, we have the chili pepper. How dare you? Okay, so now we've got a picture of me inserted eating pizza. Let's say I wanna look up a term and I'm gonna select the word unboxed. How about that? And we've got something here called smart lookup. You get a little more information without leaving the document or what I'm working on. I'm gonna have insights over on the right hand side in its own kind of section here. Unboxed was an album by Sammy Hagar, unboxing on Wikipedia. Now if I select that, it'll just launch me straight into the Wikipedia article. Many places claim that the first unboxing video was of the Nokia E61 cell phone in 2006. Wow, We've come a long way, single tier. So there you have it, Microsoft Office 365. As you can tell, some cool things built in there. Hopefully it can make you more collaborative. Maybe help you make a couple friends. And probably most importantly, help you make a better bowl of chili. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Thanks as always for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. Later, guys.